Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is Friday, uh, the 24th, sometime in September. And I am going on out to Bastrop State Park. There is a nice long four and a half or so mile trail that I would like to enjoy. And uh, I'm going to. I'm going out there. It's 6.30 in the morning right now. And uh, I'm just hitting Austin morning traffic. It's, it hasn't really started yet, but there is definitely a hint of what's to come. So I'm happy to get out and avoid this as early as possible. It's, uh, it's like 50-something degrees right now, and I hope that there will be some wildlife out. Hopefully we can see some stuff crawling around. Good morning. Um, I am here at Bastrop State Park. Um, I'm actually kind of lost. I uh, drove around. I'm looking for the Lost Pines Trail, and it's super early, so there's not really anyone here to help me out. Um, but that's kind of what I get for wanting to be out here super early uh, to like enjoy the aloneness of of the quiet of the morning. Um, but I'm here at the scenic overlook and uh, I see a lot of trees and a highway and uh, like cars and stuff. Here, check it out. Well, I'm hearing this gazebo thing. It's pretty Pretty cool. Yeah, check this thing out, man. It's got like lots of bricks and stuff. So I'm guessing that I honestly have no idea where to go. I think I'm just gonna wander, but I do need to find a bathroom because I have a bladder the size of uh, the smallest insect or something really, really small. Uh, and I've had some coffee, because I need coffee in my life. Out here on <clears throat> the scenic overlook trail it is really hot <laughs> it's not really I'm just standing in direct sunlight most of this trail is made of sand it's hard to walk in places oh but it's really nice out here it's maybe in the 60s still and uh getting warmer but I got out I got out here when it was 
it's still chilly. Brought my hoodie and I wore it for a little bit, but I don't really need it now. Fast Drop State Park has a bit of history. Um, back in 2011, there were some really, really, really bad forest fires and it destroyed a lot of the park. Um, and it's been 10 years and things seem to be definitely a lot greener. Um, so it's really cool to see like there's still some some charred remains, but um, it's definitely a lot greener, which is super nice to see. And there is a ton of wildlife out here. I don't see a lot of it, but I hear a lot of it. I've seen a bunch of birds, uh, several lizards, some skinks, tons of insects, and I saw some bees a little bit ago. Um, there's just a lot out here, and it's all, it's all young and hopeful. Maybe I'm just stupid or something, but this park is really confusing, and I finally found a trail sign, so I'm just gonna walk this way. find out where we are. We are at number six. We're at the Bracken Ferns, I believe. We're where all of these trails right here combine. Um, if we go right, we'll end up where I think I want to be. Alright, so we're going to go right. We're going to take the right path. Directly behind me. Okay, I could honestly stay out here for quite a while, um, but it is getting warmer, the sun's getting high in the sky, and uh, I'm getting hungry. It feels like maybe 78 or something, um, but it's lovely. There's a breeze, it's super quiet, there's not a lot of people around. Um, a couple families and their kids and stuff. Um, yeah, I could stay out here forever if it wasn't for my stomach and, like, human needs and stuff. 
being human sucks. You have all these things that you got to do, like eat food. It's real dumb. It took me like two hours to understand where I was, and then I went back to the headquarters and got my sticker so that no one flags my car for being here without paying. I did. I paid last night. Yeah, so I drove back there. I talked to this lady that I talked to this morning who uh, told me they weren't open yet. And I was like, yep, I know. Just need a thing for my car. And she's like, she was very helpful. I'm not making fun of her. She was very nice. Um, she said she'd check me in. Anyway, so I went back like an hour ago and saw her again. And she gave me my sticker. Uh, and told me that the trail that I came here to walk, the Lost Pines Trail, it's actually closed. So that sucks. So, whatever. You can't always get what you want. And all that stuff. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go take care of that. My goodness, you're loud. Oh, yeah. We got some kaloshes or kaloshis or kaloshis or whatever. However you pronounce them, they're delicious. I'm gonna go home and heat them up, though. So I don't have any direct experience with the wildfires of 2011 in Bastrop, but uh, I do have a happy memory of <laughs> trying to buy a car from someone in Round Rock. It was a 1990 Toyota Camry wagon. It was my dream car, and I found it on Craigslist for $1,100. Uh, they said that it was in perfect condition, no leaks, etc. I was like, great. So I, drived all I, drived, I drove all the way to Round Rock to grab it, take a look at it, and hopefully grab it. Um, uh, long story short... Um, I drove it to a dealership after giving this lady $200 to ensure that I wasn't just going to run away with her car and my driver's license or like a picture of it. Um, and, uh, turns out that it was a lemon. It was leaking all over the place. And so I tried to return it and asked for my $200 back if possible. And like it had been a day and, uh, they'd already spent that $200. Uh, the woman actually had given it to her sister because um, they lived in Bastrop and they needed some money uh, to rebuild after the fires. So I was like, all right, I can't be mad with that, I guess, but here's your car back. And um, she had a goat in her living room, so I gave her goat a little pet. It was a, it was a weird visit, but <laughs> not a complete waste of time, I guess. Uh, so yay, story time. Um, Anyway, this is a drawing that I did this week. It is inspired by Arches National Park in Utah, which is way too far away for me to just take a day trip, unfortunately, but I was looking at photos of it online and uh, I decided to draw it. Uh, I brought out my trusty watercolor pencils that I haven't used in like five years. Thought I'd give them another shot. Uh, last time I used them was for a giant um, piece that I did on a a uh, piece of Bristol paper um, with watercolor and ink, and uh, that turned out really well. It's one of my favorite pieces, so I uh, decided I would try them on this, since it's a similar sort of thing. Um, lots of swirly colors and lines and stuff, um, and layers of rock. And uh, yeah, at the uh, at the end of it, I felt like the background here, um, with all my circles, seemed like it sort of flattened the, uh, the image itself and kind of took away from the vibrancy of the actual rock layers. Um, so I scanned it in and fiddled with it in Procreate. Um, I thought maybe, like, diluting the colors or diluting the spots in the background would, would help. Um, but these crazy purples and pinks and blues did not. Um, so 
I uh, decided to color over it with black and then just um, knock down the transparency and uh, that seemed that seemed to do the trick for me. Um, but yeah, this is the drawing of the week and um, hope you all are doing fantastic and I'll uh, I'll see you next week for another one. So worth the wait. Mm-hmm.